I was starting, I was working on a commercial, commercial job, uh, had, or jigsawing shapes, uh, characters, and then I, uh, but we had a bunch of skateboards that we had for, uh, for kids workshops, um, and I, uh, I decided to try and cut through, cut through it. Um, it was a lot harder because it's seven layers of, uh, of, uh, laminated maple, um, the skateboards. So, uh, so it was a lot harder to cut with a jigsaw, but it was, turned out pretty cool. Um, a little rough. Um, and I didn't, it doesn't look terribly, terribly finished. I don't find, um, you know, I, I, I'm su I suppose I could get it to that point, but, but I mean, the skateboard's like been abused and beat up and I liked seeing that sort of, sort of that, that rough bit of it. And, um, it says waste not and is, uh, part of a, you know, waste not, want not, um, sort of saying, but I, uh, but I think it stands on its own, um, just as, um, it, it's complete as it is, I find, um, and that's my piece. This project was uh, brought about uh, by being invited for the group show. Um, I found uh, an old branch on the side of the road uh, along with some twigs that had broken off it and um, a broken toboggan. Uh, just parts of it, the curvy parts at the front of the toboggan and some of the, the flat parts that are in the, in the lower, uh, the mid midsection of it and uh, just got the idea of a kinetic sculpture. I like the idea of mixing the uh, machine-made wood with the naturally designed wood and just creating a kind of a balance between the, the two and a, and a way for them to intermingle by uh, creating the kinetic sculpture. Um, I also like where the wood has broken and been almost like a reaching hand or a desperate reach for some kind of new beginning or new new like a restart or rebirth uh, rebirth of the of the actual uh, shape the new shape that it's taken on so that's about it